Yeah, uh, you know what, VC should give them a lot of credit. Um, they came out and jumped on us. I think their speed and athleticism kind of stunned us a little bit in the beginning, came out to a great start. Uh, it was probably where our guys battled back uh, in the second half. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't enough. So hats off to them. Um, they, they played really well. That's what I want to ask you, Coach. Don't quit with this team. It looks like you're down by 17, and there you go. Yeah, you know, we, we try to play hard for 40 minutes. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, they jumped on us. It's hard to mimic that speed and athleticism, no matter what you do, pressing in practice. I, it doesn't, you know, quite do, do it justice. Um, so, like I said, hats off to them. Um, but, yeah, again, very proud of the way we battled in the second half. Um, we had a number of guys step up. So, you know, proud of that, but just, just wasn't good enough. What about Navarro stepping up the way he has? Second half, he wasn't in there right away as much. How come? Navarro, he started. Yeah, I, I, I know. I thought he gave a lot in the beginning of the first half, and then he got a little tired. Um, so he's trying to get him out and get him back in. I think he still he ended right. up with so 33 minutes. So I mean, we we are confident. We just we got tired. Yeah, 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 I think he came out, gave a lot of energy to start, got a little tired, so we got him out. What's made him this type of player this year? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think he's gotten much more confident shooting the ball. He's much more aggressive. Um, you know, I think I think he's uh, he, he's a senior. He knows this is his last go around, so he's, play, he's playing a little desperate, which is a good thing. But could you talk about Josh's performance um, specifically and how he was able to limit Ace Baldwin tonight? I mean, you guys held Ace Baldwin to just four points. Yeah, I mean, Josh is one of the best on ball defenders I think in the country. Uh, especially when he's picking guys up for court. Um, you know, I thought he did a good job staying with him. Um, you know, uh, I thought he did a job pressuring him. Um, I, 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 I didn't even notice that he only had four points, honestly, because I think they're, part of it was the game plan for them, throwing the ball inside. They had a lot of, um, got us some, a bunch of second cuts by, by throwing the ball inside, a bunch of run outs. So, um, but Josh did do a good job. A question on those same notes about stopping the other team's best player. It feels like you've done that for a few games in a row now. Is that something you kind of focus on or it happens over the course of the game, you know, when you face a team like ECU? Uh, I mean, obviously, like anyone else, we have a scout report and, you know, try to highlight what each guy does well. Um, so I think our guys do listen to the scout report and try to take away what they, uh, the other team's strengths, especially the um, leading scores. So it's definitely something I think every team focuses on. I think our guys do do a good job of that. When, oh. uh, Quisimere, when do you expect? Sorry, sorry, sorry. When do you expect uh, Quizmer to come oh. back? Uh, I'm not sure. He's going to be day to day. How day to day? Sure. Uh, he's day to day. Okay. What was it about VCU offensively that they were able to do differently than some of the other teams that you saw aside from their speed and stuff like that? Uh, did you find like their inside perimeter game or was it? Offensively. Yeah, offensively. I thought actually the best thing about them was their defense. I mean, we, they forced us into, I want to say, like 17 or 18 turnovers, or maybe 15 of those in the first half. Mm -hmm. um, they were just giving on contested laps and dunks. So I think um, their defense was their best offense, as, and that's what they did. So. Obviously, there were uh, a couple of technical fouls uh, you know, throughout the game tonight, especially in the first half. I mean, how does, how does your team kind of you know, maintain their composure and stay, you know, stay on through those moments? Um, you know, they're, they're a tough, nasty team. You know, they're a tough, nasty team. They play hard. Um, you know, I think our guys try to play hard as well. I, I think we, we like playing in that environment, so I don't think it really affects our guys uh, at all. And obviously, you know, drawing technicals is not something that they want uh, your team to do, but, you know, is, is winning the mental battle just as important as winning you know, the, the score? Um, I, I mean, we come out and try to play hard. Um, we come out and try to be nasty. Um, I don't know if we're thinking about a mental battle with another team. We're just trying to come out and do what we do very well. Um, we're not trying to back down anybody. So, I mean, whatever they're doing, we're not really focused on. We're trying to play as hard as we possibly can. Right, Coach, this is the first of a three-game kind of homestand here for the next week or two. Was there anything specific you're looking for from your team to achieve over these next few games? No. We have the, we have the same thing we, we look to do every game. We come out and try to play hard on another team, try to defend and rebound. Um, try, try to put stuff in the best possible position um, to win and look each other in the eye at the end of the game. And that's, that's every game. It doesn't matter if it's a home game, away game, championship game, first game of the year. It's all the same to us. Coach, number one, uh, Shella Holmes, Holmes, 
this has 14 double double in the season. What can you say on that with uh, regarding his injury last year and his recovery? Yeah, Chuba is a he's a really hard worker. Um, really hard worker. Um, obviously, he's dynamic rebounding the basketball. He's done it all year. He's done his whole career. Um, so it's, it's something that he just has a gift for. Um, you know, he, he's always in the training room trying to get better. He's always in the weight room getting better. He's one of our smartest guys. He's been around for a long time, so he's like a wily veteran. Um, you know, he's he's kind of the heart and soul of this team. Thanks, guys. Thank you.